We make hundreds of decisions every day, and oftentimes these decisions must be made in the face of uncertainty. The consequences and outcomes of our decisions are unclear, but a decision must be made nonetheless. As a way of navigating this uncertainty, humans rely upon heuristics, rules of thumb that allow us to simplify complex tasks and make decisions efficiently. This is the topic of Amos Tversky and Daniel Kahneman's 1974 paper entitled Judgment Under Uncertainty, Heuristics and Biases. This paper outlines the basic premise that heuristics are undoubtedly useful, but they often induce biases and lead to systematic errors. The paper examines three heuristics, representativeness, availability, and anchoring. These heuristics help us think on our toes, but Tversky and Kahneman illustrate their flaws. They first examine representativeness and how it leads people to overestimate the effect of similarities in accurately predicting the likelihood of an event. To see how representativeness works, consider the following description. Steve is very shy and withdrawn, invariably helpful but with little interest in people or the world of reality. A meek and tidy soul, he has a need for order and structure and a passion for detail. Based on that description, do you think that Steve is an airline pilot, a farmer, a librarian, or a physician? In scenarios like this, most people tend to guess that Steve is likely to be a librarian. And they base this on the fact that Steve's description is most similar to the stereotype of a librarian. However, most people overweight this similarity and overlook other factors, such as the fact that there are many more farmers than librarians. Our perception of the world is skewed by our desire to link similar things together using the representativeness heuristic. Our judgment falls victim to a similar problem when we're using the availability heuristic, which deals with how easily things are retrieved from our memory or constructed from imagination. When things are recalled or imagined with ease, we tend to overestimate their likelihood. Think of it this way. Suppose we randomly pull a word out of a book. Is it more likely that that word starts with the letter R or that R is the third letter in the word? Most people will approach this problem by trying to think of words that start with the letter R and then words that have R as the third letter. While doing this, people consider how easily both came to mind. And most people will find that it's much easier to search for a word by its first letter than by its third. As a result, most people will guess that the randomly drawn word from that book will probably start with an R, but this is wrong. R is actually more likely to be in the third position of a word than at the start of a word. Just as we overestimate based on similarities, we tend to overestimate based on the ease of recall. The final heuristic which Tversky and Kahneman address in their 1974 paper is the anchoring effect. Anchoring occurs when a starting point, or a reference point, is given to the subject and their estimates rely too heavily upon it. Kahneman and Tversky illustrate this utilizing a study with two groups of high school students. Each group was given five seconds to estimate the product of a sequence. The first group was given the following sequence. The second group was given the same sequence in the reverse order. Do you think that both groups arrived at similar conclusions? No. The first group's median estimate was 2,250, and the second was 512. Where we start and how something is presented to us is actually incredibly important. While some of Kahneman and Tversky's examples might seem quite particular, they illustrate the prevalence of heuristics in our lives and the errors they lead to when we aren't careful. Sure, you might not need to calculate a mathematical sequence in five seconds very often, but you certainly encounter anchors whenever you walk into a department store. And you will probably never have to guess the likelihood of a letter's position in a word again, but you might find yourself feeling paranoid about being robbed if you've recently watched a newscast about robberies in town. The point of Kahneman and Tversky's paper is that a better understanding of the heuristics we use regularly can help us predict our errors and make better decisions under uncertainty.